Hey guys, it's Mary Wagstaff with Yogified Soul Mind Body Coaching coming at you with another video installment of free coaching tools for my 30 day video challenge. Um, so this is third, technically the fourth video. And I thought today, um, I think on Fridays I'm going to do more of an active video um, with some of the real mind body coaching tools that I like to use in my actual sessions with mindfulness um, meditation techniques and also with my classes, um, my mind body ritual yoga and movement classes. So I work with monthly themes for myself uh, as well as for my clients and students. And this year I decided to use a beautiful guide that I've been using for over a decade. It's a wonderful calendar my mother has bought for me. And back in the day, we used to have to order it from the East Coast uh, from Sisters, Oregon. And now we're here and we can buy it at New Seasons because it's very popular. It's called We Moon. And it's Gaia Rhythms for Women. And it's a lovely companion guide. Um, and I think anyone could be serv um, served by this um, um, male or female. And I use it to um, chart my moon cycle in line with the rhythms of the moon um, is um, instead of using it for, you know, a daily planner. So it's so inspirational. There's beautiful illustrations in here as well as beautiful creative writing from women from all over the world. And I just absolutely adore it. I've been using it for many, many years. And so this year I decided to use... Um, they have a monthly theme from new moon to new moon. And I decided to use that as kind of a guide for setting my own personal intentions for myself, my classes, my co my coaching. Um, but this, I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's such a beautiful intention. This year's um, theme for 2019 is fanning the flame. And I think this really resonates with my message and the message of coaching and self-coaching and creating um, a story for yourself from victim to hero, which is, you know, we can spark the fire. We can keep that roaring. Um, we can light the fire, but to keep it roaring and to keep it moving and lit to serve us, we need to continue to fan it and to bring life and oxygen to it. So just something to think about. Um if you want to keep your internal fire bright, you got to fan it, baby. So I'm going to guide you guys through a meditation today. And so this month's theme through January to the beginning of February is ceremony. And let me just see, uh, February 4th. So yeah, so I will actually be using this next week as well. Um, so, um, in the early part of this month, um, when I think about ceremony, I think about a celebration, but like a really big celebration is kind of along the same lines as ritual, which is something I'm really into, which is, you know, a sacred moment. So really invoking sentiment into things that you do, even every ordinary, everyday ordinary things that just really bring joy in life uh, and purpose to your everyday Um and so with ceremony, I decided to focus on our own personal ceremony and um, the two meditations that I talked about this month were creating your own personal altar and also creating your own personal vow to yourself. So a way that you will show up for yourself unconditionally uh, regardless of circumstance and something that you can live by and that you can move from. So if you take a vow to something, it means no matter what happens, no matter what shows up, that you're going to stand by that. And the personal altar is a really powerful thing because it invokes, it can invoke things that you want to ex exist in your life, but really my intention was to bring in things that you know, you've already been part of and adornments um, and things that already create your own personal altar that bless you. So if you were to stand in this space, and this might be an altar that you already have at your home, but I always kind of think of it as like this beautiful altar in nature, but 
you might resonate with it differently. So I'm going to guide you through a brief meditation. I hope you'll can join me. And if you can't do it right now, um, I'll invite you to come back to do it at any moment. This recording will be here for you. So if you are in a safe space where you can get comfortable and close your eyes, I'll invite you to put two feet on the ground and soften the eyes and soften the shoulders and just start to take some breaths in and out through the nose. Notice how the breath moves in the body. So for me, it moves from the belly to the chest and then back down. When you start to focus on the breath alone, it will automatically start to lengthen and deepen. And feel how it stretches the body as it continues to deepen. Expanding through the belly, the heart, the shoulder blades, the ribs, even up through the spine and the crown of the head. And feel the feet firmly planted. Feel the parts of the body touching one another. Notice the crown of your head. And visualize it opening, connecting to the sky, the stars above. Notice the soles of your feet again, and then notice the sitting bones, the two bones underneath the bottom, opening and growing roots down through the ground into the earth below. So opening up to the sky and the heavens and then the earth below. And then bring your awareness to your heart. And see if you can start to breathe a little deeper into that space to allow it to bring some life and energy and expansion there. So your personal altar. If you were to show up any place that you've been in the world where you feel at home or you feel the most at peace. This could be your own personal home. It could be a place in nature. It could be a place that you've visited. Something that brings you a sense of solace and autonomy, richness, wonder, growth, creativity, inspiration, connection with the divine and yourself. Any of these things. A place where you can simply be without needing or wanting more. Visualize this place. And then what would be there? What would be the structure of your altar? Would it be a low pillow, a shelf? Would it be an archway? Would it be lights hanging from a branch? How would your altar begin to form? And then what would the adornments be? Would there be lights, pictures, nature objects, fruits, berries, incense, candles, crystals, anything else that musical instruments, whatever resonates with you, beautiful objects, your jewelry, pictures of loved ones, and there might be nothing at all. This altar might just simply be a landscape, a horizon. And then when would this ceremony exist? What time of year for you? What time of day? What is really resonates with you? The moonlight or a new moon with full stars or no stars, 
a sunset, a fall day, snow inside with a fire lit. What does that look like for your altar, your ceremony? And then who would be there? Would you be there by yourself? Would you invite friends? Or would you invite maybe spirit guides, ancestors, your angels to call on a loved one you have not met yet? Or maybe it would be little people of the earth. Maybe it would be our animal guides. And then what would the ceremony be for? It's for yourself, but what would the sentiment be? Would it be in celebration of your own life? Would it be a opportunity to lift your spirits after a period of mourning? Would it be to acknowledge the presence of life itself and the existence of you? What was the sentiment? What would the feeling be? And then as you stand at this altar of your life, the ceremony for you, what are all the senses that you can take in? What do you see? What do you smell? What do you hear? What do you taste? Would you have a bowl of fruit, an incense, a cup of tea? What would be there to meet you at your lips? What would the air feel like? What is the temperature? And then finally, you reach down wherever you are and you see a book. And this book says, The Vows of Life, or Personal Vows. And you open it up right to a page, and there's one sentence there. It is your personal vow to yourself, your personal vow of life. What does it say? And I'll give you an example of my own personal vow. My personal vow is unconditional compassion for myself and unflinching faith in my ability to grow into and achieve anything that my heart desires and anything I focus my attention on. My vow for myself and my life is unconditional compassion and to an unflinching faith in my ability to grow into and achieve anything that my heart desires. So read what your vow is. And if it doesn't seem clear right now, that's okay. You can come back to it. And I want you to feel your body again in this space. What are you wearing? What are the adornments on you? See yourself. Witness yourself. This is a space you can always come back to. And this is a space that I want you to create for yourself in your own life that you have already created. Your life is a reflection of your own personal altar. So take time to focus and shift your perspective on the things that really bless you, your adornments, your health, all the well-being that you have in your life and know that that is because you have thought the thoughts to bring that into existence so you can create more thoughts to have more feelings to have more actions to create the life of your dreams and in turn be of service to your community and your loved ones Take a deep breath in 
Open your mouth, let out a nice sigh. Remember this place that you can always come back to. And wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, tuck the chin in, and open the eyes, come back to the space around you. Bring the hands to the heart. Bow into yourself for your ability to breathe and feel and to be alive. <sighs> hey guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to leave you at that. And um, please share with me. I would love to know about your personal altar or your personal vows. And my intention is to um, bring a more active um, video every Friday for you. And there might be more than that. I don't know. This is just my intention right now. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll be posting every day. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to hear from you. Please reach out. I am here to support you. There's room for you here in, in anything. There's no right or wrong answer. So reach out. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're up to. And please um, follow and like and subscribe. It would be great to just know that you're there listening and feeling into the feels. Um, and check out the previous videos because um, I am, you know, newer to doing these video installments, but so it's just kind of getting your voice on video, which is, you know, interesting talking to camera. Um, but I do think there's good information there and it builds on itself. So this is just a little flavor that's really easy to follow along with uh, what mind body coaching is and also what mind body ritual yoga and movement offers and supports. So I hope to see and hear from you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.